Vic, when you guys went down 20, it seemed like something changed. You guys were more energetic on both ends um, when you guys looked a little bit sluggish early and Coach talked about it. What changed? Was there anything said in the huddle? And how much of that was Isaiah coming in and being aggressive? Uh, I just think uh, when you're a good team, you don't, you, know, you don't quit. You never quit on a game. And uh, when we got down 20, uh, Trimble was making a lot of his shots. And to be honest, I don't think it was our offensive end, but it was really primarily on defense. That was really killing us because every time we made a run, he made a three or he got an one or something. So I think <clears throat> when we start, started to cut it, you know, we stopped, we started limiting him, his touches a little bit, and we stopped the pick and roll a little bit better. Uh, Vic, uh, in the last two games, you faced two really tough teams. Um, you know, split them. Uh, what are your thoughts on facing this caliber of team that, you know, if you make it to the dance, you're yeah. going to have to face those all the time? Um, I mean, I definitely think uh, Maryland is, is honestly a really good team. They're so deep, and they play, you know, a lot of guys, and all the guys they play are really good and super aggressive. I think that when you come into a game like this, especially off a of Wisconsin win, you can't be, you know, sluggish from the last win. You can't be thinking about, oh, we still beat Wisconsin, because when you come in and play a team like this, you know, that's just as good as Wisconsin. They can put you in a hole like they put us in. And I just think, uh, you know, moving forward, when we play these teams, we have to be prepared day in and day out. Like Saturday, Saturday, no matter who we play, whether it be Rutgers, or whether it be Wisconsin again, we have to play at our best because, you know, it's the second time in a row we lost at home. Uh, Vic, you played 40 minutes almost at Wisconsin. Um, you only had three days turnaround. You asked to come out at one point. How much of a, of a factor was fatigue for you today? Um, I mean, everyone's tired at this point in the season. I don't think I'm not going to say, you know, I was tired or whatever because I'm pretty sure that's an excuse. I'm pretty sure Trimble plays 35 plus minutes every game. And they played um, Ohio State. So, I mean, we just had a tough break tonight. We didn't play as good as we, you know, should have. And they beat us. You know, a good team beat us. I don't think I really want to make excuses and say fatigue or whatever was the reason for it. Vic, we see the the numbers that go away when Scotty sits down. But from just him being on the floor, what are you guys missing when he's not there? Uh, just a little bit more balance in offense, I think, and defensively. You know, I just think uh, we're really balanced on the floor offensively. I think, you know, when, when you have Scott out there, you know, not only for his scoring, but it just, you know, opens up the floor so much more. Teams aren't able to just lock in on, you know, whoever their game plan is. And I think, you know, teams have to play our offense a lot more honestly. And when you do that, I mean, we're really good whenever, you know, our offense is just running and clicking. So I think when Scott's out there, he really allows us to, you know, have our offensive run a lot smoother. You know, we don't have to play as much one-on-one. -on -one. You know, it's a lot more crisp. And I think defensively, you know, he really allows us to, you know, play a lot more aggressive defensively. You know, his length and uh, activity defensively are really helpful. Um, so I think he'd have been really helpful tonight, Garden Trimble, along with myself. I mean, you know, just like moving forward, you know, on Saturday if we have him or not, I think it'll be helpful for us to just know, you know, whoever comes in the game, with our depth that, you know, they need to play aggressive and confident because we need everybody. Uh, Vic, you spent a lot of time on Trimble today. Obviously, he had a really big game. Is there anything you personally or you guys as a team could have done differently? Uh, I think personally, I think I could have guarded him a lot better. I think uh, early I did a good job. You know, I had a couple of blocks on him, keeping him out of the lane. But then I think, you know, I uh, just, you know, let him go. I wore it down. And on the pick and rolls, he really got a lot of space between me and the, the ball screen. And when he's attacking downhill on Derek, I think that just puts too much pressure on Derek, especially, you know, when it's just one-on-one -on -one like that. And, and even when Derek has a, a big rolling down at him, I think it was hard for Derek to make, you know, that decision of whether to stay on Trimble or get back to his man. And then when it was just one-on-one, -on -one, Trimble was making good moves. So I think, uh, personally, I think I could have done a lot better job getting over ball screens and really being a lot more active defensively on him. Isaiah, in the first two games that Scotty was out, you started, and then you've been moved back to the bench where Collins kind of likes you as that energy guy. Um, what, has, what has been, uh, what is moving back to the bench helped you do, and how do you think it's, do you, do you think it's helped you focus anymore, just made you more, you know, closer to what you were for most of the season? Uh, maybe. I think, um, you know, my main focus is just anytime I'm out there, just try to make a positive contribution. Um, you know, I, I think we had kind of gotten into a little bit of a, um, you know, a rhythm with our rotation and things like that. And so obviously when you have uh, a major part of your starting five go down, things kind of shake up and everybody's got to make adjustments. So 
um, you know, maybe that's been, you know, a little bit more um, of a role that I was getting settled into. Um, so, yeah, you know, maybe. But like I said, you know, whatever the uh, whatever the situation is, my only focus is just try to, you know, however, however I do get on the floor, whether it's I'm starting or if I'm coming off the bench, just try to be a positive impact out there. Um, Isaiah, coach earlier said that without Scotty, you guys aren't really a team that uh, can score 70 or 80 or 75 or 80 points in a game. Um, and have to rely on your defense. Is that something you guys sense when you're out there? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think, you know, we've we've relied on our defense all year. And I think Scotty is a big part of our defense as well. Um, so obviously, you know, we miss what he does offensively. But I think defensively, um, his length and his activity, you know, his ability to, um, you know, to guard guards and, and really kind of bother them with length is something that we miss defensively. So, um, yeah, you know, I think you know, obviously when you lose a guy that's scoring, you know the 15 to 20 points that he was scoring that changes your team a little bit and uh you know i think we've we've done the best job you know that we could of stepping up and um and trying to replace what he gives but um yeah definitely you know it, it changes your team you know when, when you lose a guy like that that's been playing at the level that he was so isaiah talk about what's the experience like uh, you know getting in there against two top 25 teams two games in a row you know what, what's that like for you uh, I mean, it's, you know, it's the Big Ten. That's, uh, that's, that's kind of the, you know, the normal. Uh, when you play in this conference, you're going to every night get the opportunity to play against great teams and um, on the road and at home. And tonight we had the opportunity to protect our home court, you know, against another great team. And, um, you know, we, we came up short. So the good thing about it is we get another opportunity to do that on Saturday. And uh, you know we'll be, we'll be ready the next two days, you know, to prepare to, to, prepare to get this one done on Saturday. So. You guys went down 20 uh, pretty late in the second half and then kind of fought back, got it under 10 a couple of different times. Um, what changed when you guys went down like that, and why weren't you guys able to play that way the whole game? Um, you know, I think any anytime you, you get down a little bit, um, it's gut check time. You know, you got to try to make a run. You got to try to take some stuff out. Um, I think we got some consecutive stops, and that's really what helped us um, on the offensive end, get out in transition a little bit, able to score a little bit easier. Um, but, you know, we're a team that doesn't quit. So anytime that, you know, there's a deficit against us and uh, we got our backs up against the wall a little bit, we, uh, we tend to try to fight back, whether we come up short or we're able to, to come all the way back. And, um, you know, tonight we fell a little bit short, but, I, you know, I was proud of the way that we fought the entire game.